are we doing, Liz? This came straight out and then down and then over, but that wasn't working out for us just because this worked better. It's pretty incredible, I think, how you can go from just taking an idea in your head and then you can draw it on the computer, make it like exactly how you thought in your head. And then you can just import it into EdgeCam and then send it to the mill where it actually physically gives you the piece that you just imagined in your head. So as long as you give it time, then like you can make anything that you imagine. I think that's pretty cool. Somebody needed something. Okay, and then they took that need and they used the design process. There was this one time where they gave, just gave you materials and said, build the tallest thing you can, and without falling over and being able to withstand some amount of weight. And it was just problem solving, and I, I love problem solving. Now what are you gonna do? You get hands-on experience. It's not like with math, where you just write out on a piece of paper. You actually get to use the different machines and you get to build stuff with your hands. It's not boring at all. We're always working on a project. Either we're doing something on the computer, like drawing designs, or we're in here making the designs. I think everyone thinks that technology is for guys because they think that it's just working with tools and like girls can't handle it, but it's really a lot easier. And girls can handle it just as well as guys can. I want you to observe different needs. It's more fulfilling. It's not, you wouldn't sit through a lecture for no reason at all. You, you, you apply what you learn, like in the class, as you learn it. Okay, Jake, how's this coming? Pretty good. It's really difficult to get these wires done. I have all the connections made, but I'm having problems with the program because if both of these switches are off, then that doesn't move. And if this one is on, then it has to move backwards. If this one is on, then it has to move forward. How can you come up with new products without imagining them first? In technology, that kind of field, it's just about putting your imagination into use to create a product or anything else that people use, want, you know, buy. Most of my friends who are interested in this type of stuff, they already take it. Uh, Project Lead the Way is pretty popular in the school because it gives people a chance to like express creativity. The first class of Project Lead the Way, Design and Drawing for Production, it counts as an art credit. So we can actually have fun and be in the Project Lead the Way class. So a lot of people are getting involved and they're figuring out that they have an interest in engineering, so they're going to the next classes. I plan on going into engineering because it's problem solving, it's something new to do every day. It's not mundane, it's not a waste of your time, it's, I don't know, you create, it's worth it. Oh, we made this little gadget today in digital. Isn't that cool? And then we made this in some class. It's perfect for incorporating the drawing that we need to learn how to do and it helps us, it helps perpetuate us towards more complex engineering. You get hands-on experience. It's not like with math where you just write out on a piece of paper. You actually get to use the different machines and you get to build stuff with your hands. I, I really have enjoyed like this class so far. It's, it's been good because it's allowed, you know, room for my different area subjects like my science subject and my math subjects. I can actually put them into use here and I think that's great. I think this class definitely gave me a good introduction and I think taking this class is going to give me a step ahead when I'm like majoring in engineering. Everyone else is getting basics and I already know what I'm doing so it's going to give me a good chance to excel.